Wow, guys, we are in a three-time award-winning community of the year here in the North Dallas, Texas suburbs, and I cannot believe how affordable the luxury homes are. Like this beautiful Dries home that we're about to hop into, you're not gonna believe it. I've never seen anything like it. But first, we're actually gonna go down here and visit two other Toll Brothers homes that are lower price points and check out what you can get for a ridiculously low price here in Argyle, Texas. Guys, this community is absolutely insane. Not only do you get beautiful luxury homes at an affordable price, but the amenities are unlike like anything I've ever seen before in a master plan community and you're just not gonna believe it. We're first gonna check out this home by Toll Brothers and you're not gonna believe how low the prices are this one. But they're gonna jump into this next Toll Brothers home over here which is a little bit of an elevated design and floor plan. We're gonna end at that beautiful Dries home over there which is a completely custom home, absolutely beautiful. One of the best houses that we've been in here in the DFW Metro. Guys, my name is Michael Carraway. I'm a realtor here in the DFW Metro. And like I said, we're gonna be touring three different homes today, all different price points, all different styles. And most importantly, we wanna hear which one you like the best. As you go through this video, take notes, figure out what you would like to live in and make sure to drop a comment below at the end of this video to let us know which one is your favorite. Now let's get into that first house. All right, so we're about to head into the Elite Collection by Toll Brothers here in a second. Then we're gonna head over to the Select Collection. You can see the difference. This is the more elevated selection. For... This is the more, <laughs> this is the more elevated uh, series. Yeah, that's what I, yeah, elevated. <laughs> This is the more elevated series for Toll Brothers, but this home is amazing as well. So Sam, let's go ahead and jump into this. Yeah, so this is the Delante floor plan. So it's gonna be four bed, three bath, uh, around 2,800, 2,900 square feet. Let's go check it out. High ceilings right off the gate. Yeah, it's still a nice entry. Kind of enter. Let's come check out our kitchen, living, dining area. So still one nice big space. You can tell based on the lot size being, we think this is probably around a 50 foot lot, uh, a little bit smaller compared to some of the others that we'll see here in just a little bit. We'll see a 60 foot, and we're also gonna see an 80 foot lot, which is incredible at the very end. Um, based on the lot size, you can tell that the house feels just a little bit, uh, a little bit more narrow. Um, having said that though, still has a great flow. Still right. has a great feel, plenty of storage and cabinetry. I love that they took the cabinetry all the way to the ceiling so you don't have any dusty areas that you have to worry about. You still have a good little pantry there in the corner. Uh, I love that there's some bar stool seating uh, for four. And then you also have like a good, whether you want to make this a casual dining area or your full-time dining area, um, there's another space we'll explore here in just a little bit. That's another option. It's like a more formal setting, uh, depending on your needs. And then you come right into the living room. Great size uh, overall. This is a very large sectional for context. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it takes up a lot of the space, but really nice gas fireplace. Love the accent lighting over there uh, with the built-in shelves. I'm just, I'm a huge fan of the layout from an entertaining perspective. Yeah. Cause you have, I mean, you have the dining room that we walk past, which we'll check out here in a second. Right. Kitchen, dine, another dining table, plus the living room. Then you can head straight yep. outside. Head right outside. Once I unlock it. <laughs> and again, we have sliders. Yeah, it's actually, it's it's funny cause there's literally no windows on this wall. It's all the slider. No, but it's like, all slider. It's Which is great. entirely glass. It's like so whenever glass you wall. have weather days like today where it's in the upper 50s, low 60s, um, very comfortable, it's great. Mm -hmm. Just kind of becomes one and the same in terms of the spaces uh, out here. Love the outdoor dining space. You've got a little bit of covered patio space. You've got a good exterior dining table that can weather storms. Lovely little fire pit area to, again, host. Great for kids if you wanna do some s'mores or whatever mm -hmm. you enjoy doing. And obviously you still have room for a play set or a trampoline or whatever you wanna enjoy outside. Yeah, it's crazy, this is the smallest lot that we're gonna tour today, but it still feels really nice. Yeah, like you still could, plenty of space. You could put a smaller pool here if you wanted to. I know yeah. a lot of people that are moving here want that pool. Sure. Um, but yeah, for, for the price that this is, which we're gonna talk about here later on, and it's a good, good place to, sure. to build and start your family here. Absolutely. Well, when talk about family, I mean, there's so many incredible things about this community. Mm. Um, I mean, the amenities is kind of crazy what all you get here. That's what I mean, when we drove into this neighborhood, that's what you see. You see a bunch of 
families out walking, using all the amenities. The coffee shop was full of families. Like it's, it's a great place to, to really uh, set up roots. Yeah, no joke. Let's go check out the master. Really nice space. Well put together. I like the textured wallpaper. The pendants are kind of cool too. That's a cool feature. Some, some nice reading lights, if you will. If you're a reader, I want to be a reader. <laughs> so bad, I want to be a reader, and I'm just not. Really nice primary bath. Double vanity, got linens, and very, very big walk-in shower. Very nice. A very good size walk-in closet as well. Yeah, for this price point, you don't typically see closets like this. Sure, yeah, good This point. good size. It's a good distinction. Good. All right, we're back out in our common areas here. Right off of that, you kind of come back this way. You've got utility room, good size. It's got a little wet, wet bar sink, which is great for utility room. We've also got a nice flex space here. So they currently have this obviously set up as an office. Um, love the built-ins. A lot of great storage. Yeah, perfect little office suite. And right off that, you've got a guest suite as well downstairs. So you do have two bedrooms downstairs with two full baths as well. A lot of people love that because you know, if they have parents visiting or whatever, they don't have yep. to go up the stairs. Especially got... if they're elderly. Exactly. You know, we've got our full bath right here with the walk-in shower. And here's kind of where we walked by earlier when you first walk in. They've set this up as more of a formal uh, dining room. Um, I've also seen people make this space kind of like a little bit more of a kind of a library kind of feel where you have your office study area. Mm -hmm. This can be like a little reading nook or Definitely. somewhere just to a couple chairs, a small table, a place to Enjoy a cup of coffee, read a book, whatever you enjoy doing. Yeah, fewer people are using like formal dining rooms. Yeah. Uh, so since you already have that space over there, I mean, I like your idea of, of using it as a library. Let's, uh, let's check out upstairs and see what it has to offer. Right when we get up, you kind of immediately come into this game room, uh, which is a great space. I love all the storage. I mm -hmm. just think about a family like mine with two young kids and all the toys and games and stuff that has to be put up and taken out and put up. It's great to at least have the space for it to where it's not all just like exposed. It's literally a full-time job picking up all the toys. <laughs> no kidding. But a lot of good storage there. And then uh, this is this is the dream. I mean, for the young family that wants to stay in shape while their kids are playing over there. <laughs> exactly. Um, who needs one Peloton when you can have two? Love the built-ins over there. So obviously well. they've set this up as a gym. Um, very easily could be a media room. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of options with this space of how you want to how you want to set this up. They sure. even have the Peloton dumbbells. <laughs> like overkill. Wow. I didn't even know those were a thing. Yeah. And then we've got some. I just had flashbacks storage. to my apartment living days where that's like where the laundry room would be tucked away. Oh yeah. <laughs> Some more storage, which is great. Love that. Not storage. <laughs> Could be. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, secondary bedroom with a walk-in closet. These rooms are not huge, uh, but they get the job done. Uh, yeah. You could definitely fit uh, a full, a double, probably a queen. Mm -hmm. um, probably that's probably where we cap it off. You'll see the difference in sizing just yeah. in, in, throughout the entire house as we continue to jump to these other houses that's today. Right. Absolutely. Shared bathroom there, double vanity. Then the final bedroom. I don't think we ever told them the price, Michael. We haven't told them the price. We haven't told them the price. We're gonna have to get to that here shortly. All right, let's go do it. Right. So Sam, where, where are we at for price on this home? I mean, we've gotta be in the, the 700s or so. Man, you would certainly think, uh, based on the size, the beds, the baths, yeah. the outdoor entertaining space, but no, we're at a base price of 580. 
uh, for this house. So obviously you could throw in some upgrades in addition to what's here and still be low 600s mm -hmm. or even high fives, which is really, really good for a brand new, I mean, construction. Um, and to have that amount of space, have a meaty room and a game room, uh, a lot of a lot of pros, a yeah. lot of pros for sure. And that's what a quality builder, Toll Brothers. Yeah, Toll Brothers has been around a long time. Mm -hmm. They've developed in a lot of different markets within DFW sub markets, I guess you could call them. Um, so yeah, they very very reputable. Been around a long time. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot of a lot of praise for them. All right, y'all. So if you saw this and you thought that's great, we'd love a little bit more space. We're gonna head next door where you can get a little bit more space still built with Toll Brothers. So follow us over there. Yeah, and then. We're gonna have to check out that Dries home as well because I'm excited oh, to get everybody inside that house. Dries is gonna be really cool. So, I mean, for the price, that is a pretty amazing home. The fact that you can get into a home for that cheap and it's a Toll Brothers home, like that is a huge value here in Harvest. So that was an absolutely great tour. We're actually gonna check out two other tours and both homes are even better than this first one that we have looked at. Obviously, which comes with a little bit of a higher price point. Uh, you're going to be blown away by what you get here still for your money. But first, I want to make sure we jump into the map and kind of show you where Harvest is, what's around, and kind of overall what you can expect for the area. So I've got the map pulled up here. You can see Harvest is over here in the northwest uh, part of the DFW Metro. Uh, we're a decent ways away from Dallas. Uh, so we're venturing more into the Fort Worth territory. Actually, what I would consider more of a suburb of Denton. And Denton is a good sized town, uh, but it doesn't have the amount of employment and the amount of population that a place like Dallas and Fort Worth has. But that's what's kind of nice about this area is you have a lot of employment op options here. You can get down to Fort Worth, you can get down into Dallas, or you could head up to Denton. So a lot of great options here. Your commute into Dallas would look something like this. Right now it's at 10, 18 a.m. in the morning. It's in about 45 minutes or so. Uh, if you were to go over to Fort Worth right now, it's going to take you 28 minutes, so a little bit closer. And then just for some context, over into Denton, Texas, I think it's about 15 minutes or so. Yeah, 17 minutes, only 12 miles away. So all within a reasonable driving distance. Uh, but what I will say about this area is that you are kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it seems like that when you're driving out there at least, right? You, uh, you have mostly residential around you or fields at this point. This whole area, this North Lake, Argyle, uh, little area over here is just blowing up. Like it is, it was just a bunch of fields, but now you're seeing these massive new construction communities pop up all over the place, Harvest being one of them. And so Harvest makes a, picks up a huge amount of land right here, right off 35 West. And it's the nice part about this all is that it is right off 35 West. So even though it is a little bit further out there uh, in the context of the Metro area, you are able to get onto the 35 West really quickly and get where you need to go. Um, so I love that about this community. You're not wasting any time on a lot of these side roads. So that is a huge plus. Now within the community, you have like within a two minute drive, uh, you have a lot of options for things that you get to do uh, nearby. You know, right over here, there's a little bit of a town center that they have going on, uh, which I drove through and it's really nicely done. It's brand new, had an Italian restaurant, a Mexican restaurant, a bunch of different things like you know pizza restaurants uh, some boutiques like some, just a lot of cool stuff going on right here uh, so that is nice to have right outside the neighborhood and you're not having to go to denton uh, or fort worth or dallas to get some of that stuff all right guys we are about to jump into that next toll brothers home and you're not gonna believe the price for this thing it is unreal the home is absolutely amazing a big upgrade from that first one that we just walked through and then at the end we're gonna check out that dries home but first Please make sure to like this video if you're enjoying it, if you're finding value, because that's how we find people just like you who are making the move to the DFW Metro and need to see a video like this. But without further ado, let's get into this next tour. All right, guys, we have made our way next door to the Salado here with Toll Brothers. We are gonna head on in. Um, this one's four bed, three bath. We're up to 3,500 square feet here, so we do have a lot more square footage Big than job. the one from the last floor plan. Definitely gonna feel it inside too. Yeah, it's definitely. A little more spacious. And you'll feel an elevated, kind of an elevated. Pretty awesome entry. I mean, the chandelier is a big focal point. The fireplace immediately grabs attention. Um, very tall ceilings here, which is great. 
You just feel you got. You can already feel the difference. Yep. I mean, between the two. Um, yes, there's a few dollars uh, <laughs> that make up that difference, but isn't everything that way though? You get what you pay for. Exactly. Um, I love this kitchen. Um, I really like the tone of the cabinets with the lighter floors. You kind of get a little bit of a, I'm just gonna call it a rustic Texan feel. Ooh, um, kind of like a little it. bit of hill country, if hey, you will. If you're moving to Texas, that's what you gotta have, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, very, very nice kitchen. You also have kind of a little butler's pantry here, which is very, very cool. You don't see it a ton. Unless you're really custom building homes, you don't see a lot of these. Yeah, so we have a little extra pantry area. And then you've got a lovely dining space here as well, right off of your kitchen. Again, just a good open space to where everybody can enjoy time together, but you can also be spread out, if you will. Definitely. You still have the big sliding glass. We still have our here. sliders. As well as a little door right here on the side. Tons of natural light pours in. I'm just gonna open one. You get the idea. Yeah, they all slide open. Enough. Huge, huge patio here. Great patio, got surround sound, got electricity over there. It is, it is screaming for an outdoor TV. <laughs> and you'll really notice here, you can spread out more in the backyard. You can definitely yeah. feel it in the lot size uh, compared to the last one. Um, here we're on a 60 foot. So I know 10 feet doesn't sound like much, um, but you really do get a lot more space. Um, but wait till we go see Dries. Yep. And we get on that 80 foot lot. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna it's feel gonna like be pretty special. Acreage. And this yeah. is kind of, you're getting to the, the width of lot here where you can be able to put in a pool and still have plenty of room for yeah. the kids to run around in grass. And yeah, you could definitely have like a little lap pool back here or if you just wanted to do something over it on one side and have it smaller, have a little bit more grass area. Yep. Plenty of options and a lot of privacy. Um, you'll notice here like the, the street behind is actually elevated a little bit. So you've got a retaining wall here, but then they have the fence on top of it. So there's a lot of privacy here, uh, which, is, which is great. Oh, we gotta go check out the rest of this house. All right, let's go see. Let's go see our master. Michael, we'll let you lead. Let's do it. Don't think we pointed out this massive fireplace either. The tile on here is really cool. Yes, it is. Couldn't agree more. All right, I don't know about y'all. First thing I noticed was the beams. Definitely. Um, definitely an awesome focal point to this master. Um, really like the theme of it. Um, kind of dark, moody, but also light with the windows. It just flows really well. Like the, like the tones with the browns. Would your wife go for the black wall? You know, it probably wouldn't have been the first choice, but I think she could live with this house. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you can change a wall color, right? <laughs> All right, primary suite, bathroom. Great size, soaker tub, two separate vanities. Love that. Which is great. You don't have to argue who's gonna share what point or what parts. It's like, no, you get your own, totally separate. Huge shower. Yeah, big walk-in shower. It takes us to a good size walk-in closet. You can tell they're trying to appeal to an elevated buyer with the Nordstrom bags. <laughs> so, usually big it's Nordstrom like, guides. Usually it's like Louis Vuitton. Or right. Yeah, that's true. Gucci. Maybe not quite too elevated. <laughs> it's that mid-tier elevated. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. Still approachable. <laughs> All right, let's go check out some of the things here at the front. We've got a nice powder bath right off the entertaining space. Very convenient. Uh, when you're entertaining and hosting. Put the tile on the wall. We've got our utility room, kind of tucked back away from everything. A um, little smaller compar comparatively, but it gets the job done. Yeah. And then back across here, we've got a nice enclosed study. I love the built-ins in here. Mm -hmm. um, again, the, the tone, the color is really nice. It, it brings in a nice warmth with the brown, but it 
gives it a little bit of a different feel than just like the lighter floors. Mm -hmm. um, so I really, really like this space. And then we've got our guest suite. You'll see a common theme. All of these have guest suites, all first floor. Um, is, and this is a good great. size guest suite too. Yeah, it is. Got its own, got its own bathroom with it. All right, go check out upstairs. All right, we've got a great kind of uh, two separated spaces that could easily kind of be morphed into one. Great game room, playroom space. Um, and then it kind of blends into a media room here, which is great if you just need to put your kids in a room, throw a movie on, and go enjoy a glass of wine somewhere else. <laughs> this is the perfect place to put them. It sounds like about every night at our house around six <laughs> <Right>. o'clock. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> six o'clock is when things start going south. Yeah, it's fair. We've got some storage. And then we've got the first upstairs bedroom. Good size, I love the little banquette seating. Yeah, that's really cool. Good place to read a book for a little girl. Definitely. Or a little boy. And then we've got our Jack and Jill bath here. Got a lovely baseball themed room. I can appreciate it as a former baseball player. What positions did you play? Played second base and center field. Base. All right. I was a shortstop. So myself. yes, yes, I was short and yes, I was fast. <laughs> those, those are the two requirements. <laughs> exactly. Nice. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go wrap up downstairs. Talk talk numbers. All right, man. So how much does this cost? I know we we got a lot more space. We got a yes. little bit more elevated. We got design. a little bit more of everything. Yeah. You got definitely some upgrades. Definitely a little bit more of a luxury feel compared to more of an entry level feel. Um, we are starting here around 875. Um, so still, still under a million. Mm -hmm. I know which is kind of a scary number sometimes when you're adding another digit. Uh, but here at 875, you still get a, a lot of great features. I mean, a lot of great upgrades and definitely still get that luxury feel. Um, again, you pick this house up, a lot of times you go to another location, it could easily be over a million. And so it's great that it's still a little bit more approachable um, for a lot of people and yeah. Yeah, well it's crazy, Eight, 875 is actually, there's a house that's being built uh, that's moving ready here in March. So if you're actually looking for a house and you want to move in right away, it's yeah. gonna be completed in March. So that's 875 this floor for plan everything, right this here. exact floor plan with all the upgrades, all that kind of stuff. So definitely reach out to us if you're looking for a floor plan like this within that price range. Yeah, but absolutely. We're gonna be heading over here to this Dries home and full transparency, we are going up in price point. We're also going up in just overall quality and it's a stunning home, Absolutely. so let's go check it out. All right, we are about to get to that amazing Dries home, the last tour of the day. So stick around for that. But first, we are actually gonna pull up a map of all the pending properties that are available right now in Harvest to show you that it's not just new construction homes that are for sale in this neighborhood. And you know, we've been in these 600s and up there's actually a lot of options in the 400 range and up. So let's get to that map right now so you can see what's available in Harvest. All right guys, so as you can see, I've got the map pulled up here and this is showing all the pending properties currently in the Harvest neighborhood. And that just means that it's under contract. It was listed and an offer has been accepted. And so it's now in the closing process. Uh, but as you can see, a lot, of, a lot of homes that are pending right now in a lot of different price ranges, for example, there's one that's pending that was listed at $417,000. This is a, a beautiful home. It's your typical Texas traditional open layout, newer home. Let's see, this one in particular was, sorry about that. Uh, this one is 1,800 square foot, three beds, two baths. It's on the market for 33 days. Uh, it looks like it was actually built in 2018. So you're still getting a really new home in that $400,000 price range. So this is an awesome home. As you can see, you know, you got a $615,000 home right here. Uh, this is a four bed, three bath, 2,800 square foot house. And this even comes with the jacuzzi, super open layout. 
again, just great, great finishes inside as well. This, this was a 2020 build. Um, so for 615, that is a pretty good deal. And we'll jump up to maybe the $689,000. This is actually a new construction house. Um, let's see, five beds, four baths, 3,300 square foot built by David Weekly. Uh, so as you can see, tons available in this neighborhood. That's what you gotta, you gotta reach out to an agent like us, get into the MLS and see what's available currently. Cause there might be the perfect house that's listed, ready to go for you on the MLS, or maybe you have to go the new construction route. A good agent is able to advise you on what the best method is based on your timeline, based on your financial situation, your needs, your wants, all of those kinds of things. So definitely reach out to our team if you're looking to make the move here to the Dallas, Texas area or the entire DFW Metro. We've got you covered. Reach out anytime. Guys, one of the coolest things about Harvest is not only the amount of amenities that are in this neighborhood, but also some of the amenities that they decided to put in here that I have never seen in any other community ever. So that's a pretty cool thing that we're gonna get to today. So let's go ahead and dive into some of these amenities. And one of the first things that I wanna point out here is that there's this beautiful lake here that meets you as soon as you get into the neighborhood. Uh, as you can see in the picture right here, it's actually pretty good size and there's trails all around it, uh, which you gotta love. Right nearby, you're gonna have future mixed use and multifamily right at the entrance. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you've got kind of a little bit of a town center right outside the neighborhood that has some retail places to eat and all that kind of stuff. Now, right on this front part of the neighborhood is gonna be kind of your main amenity center. There's plenty more throughout the neighborhood, but this has the highest concentration. Obviously you got parks and trails around. You've got a pool, resort style pool there. It's really cool. Um, you've got a yoga lawn and workout facility, really nice facility in there. You got an outdoor kitchen. Uh, you've got the hub, which is just a place that you can actually work and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you got an event lawn, just tons of cool stuff like splash pads. And then you actually have the event hall right there as well. Now, uh, zooming over a little bit further, right here is gonna be the Farmhouse Coffee and Treasures. This is one of the most unique things I've seen in a neighborhood. Uh, this must have been one of the original structures on this property. It's an original building. Um, you can walk inside, it's got this beautiful, uh, it's been renovated, uh, but really just like kind of an old time vibe. They put a coffee shop in there. They've got little trinkets for sale. Uh, there's also a church that meets in there every Sunday as well. So just kind of a cool little concept that they left that there. I've also got another park over here. And this is actually where they have greenhouses and places for you to be able to plant your own food, um, your own vegetables. So that's why it's called Harvest. In, in particular is that you, there's actually opportunities for the residents to uh, be able to grow their own vegetables and things like that. So that makes this a very unique neighborhood uh, in itself. Uh, scrolling down here, you've got a pool house that's going right there. You've got the fire station in here, you've got a park. Um, you've got some rental homes that are going in in the, uh, this part of the neighborhood over here. Uh, this school is massive. We, we drove by this school and there were, it looked like thousands of kids outside playing. Um, I'm not sure exactly the number of students that go there, but it is a lot. It is a big school. Uh, this is the front porch area, kind of just like a, a place where they do events and has a big lawn there for kids to run around in. Uh, you got another uh, pool here as well as another gym uh, and the dog park right down here. So. Like I said, like there is just so much uh, opportunity for things to do in this neighborhood. We didn't even talk about all the, the different parks in here. Um, it's just, it's a cool, cool neighborhood, plenty of things to do. You're never going to uh, get bored on the weekend, that is for sure. So without further ado, let's get back into the rest of the video. All right, y'all, we are here at Harvest. We are in Argyle, Texas, just north of Fort Worth. Um, we are going to check out this incredible Dries home. So let's go check it out. You guys aren't going to believe the price of this thing. This is a massive home on an 80 foot lot. They even have 100 foot lots available. This one, you're not going to believe the price. We're going to get to that here in a, in a little bit. Let's go check out this house. Yeah, so here we've got four bed, four and a half bath. It's going to start at 4,100 square feet with the option to add an additional thousand square feet, so a lot of flexibility with your options on this floor plan. We gotta go check this out though, this is the best part. So I mean, incredible grand entry. <laughs> this is amazing. I mean, what 
What is there to say? I mean, really. It's really, really beautiful. And this kitchen's amazing Yeah, I mean, itself. this island is a, this is what we call a Texas-sized island <laughs> if you're not from the area. Right. Everything is bigger and better in Texas, um, and especially in Dallas-Fort Worth. But yeah, I mean, you'll definitely notice plenty of upgrades within this kitchen, whether it's the, the uh, six top burner, the farm sink, double oven, which we'd love to see. We love our double ovens. The first house in a while. I know, right? Granted, at, at a certain price point, you, you do expect it, right. uh, which again, we'll see what the price is later on, but love just the openness. The inv This is a very inviting floor plan, I feel like, from a hosting standpoint. Enjoying family time. All right, we gotta go check out outside though. This is incredible. Again, got our lovely sliders. Love those sliders. A personal favorite. So again, here we're on an 80 foot lot. So you've got a lot of room to spread out. You're not gonna be sandwiched on top of each other like you may be in a lot of other new construction communities across DFW. I mean, the gas fireplace is awesome. I love the fire pit area. I love this wall. You don't see that very yeah, often. Yeah, you get the built-in seating, which is really, really nice. Yep. Um, but you also have plenty of room. Like, if you've got a big family with several kids or whatever it may be, you've got plenty of room to spread out. I mean, like, you've got a whole, you got room for a whole, like, wiffle ball game yeah. or something back put here. Put a pickleball court over there. Yeah, you could put pickleball back here. Pool. This is definitely uh, definitely a pool size. Definitely yard. pool size. Hundred percent. Pool spa, the whole the whole thing. Yep. Yeah, this is nice. The landscaping here is beautifully done. They already got the pool chairs out here. They just need a pool. And again, this home is built by Drees. Uh, Drees has been around for a very very long time, longer than either of us actually <laughs> thought. Because uh, we looked it up just a little bit ago, 1928, been building for 95 years. So if you're looking for reputability, you pick the right spot. Definitely. Yeah, there's a, just a level of trust that you can have with that, knowing they've been around for so long. Absolutely. Yeah, the, look at these. I mean, the ceilings here are absolutely nuts. Love the beam up there. Love the chandeliers. Beam, chandeliers, surround sound. And the light flooring too, like this, mm -hmm. it just has a really kind of light like area feel. Look. Yep. That's really nice. All right, you wanna go check out the master? Let's do it. <laughs> Under uh, stair storage, which is great. Half bath, so you've got plenty of room for guests. You don't have to worry about using a guest room or anything like that. You've got like some really funky wallpaper too. I kind of like it. Yeah, it's kind of a nice like textured uh -huh. look. Kind of a houndstooth, very yeah. classy. And then uh, your grand master. Would you actually uh, use this for a coffee bar? You know, in, in desperate times, yeah. being the dad of two kids, <laughs> there there are some times to where I might wake up and just have it right out of bed. If you need an immediate really, injection really need of it. caffeine. So They even love, got the textured uh, tray ceiling. Yeah, there, right? I love the tray ceiling with the texture, bringing some contrast in with some different colors. Um, even the design, I love kind of the tasteful design of this, um, bringing in kind of some of the oranges and reds. and um, It's like a different kind of moody. Definitely. But I like it. Yeah. With the, I like the gold accents as well. All right, you got double doors into your master bathroom. It's a grand entrance. Which is quite lovely, I might say. Nice soaking tub. Love the soaker tub. Large double vanity. A gigantic walk-in shower. Yeah, this is... With two different shower heads. This is nuts. We're like 10 feet away from each other. <laughs> at, I mean, at least. At, <laughs> That's crazy. 10, 10, 12 feet, something like that. You could fit a lot of people in there. Yeah. <laughs> not sure if you would or not, but... Right. Hey. This is awesome. Got some extra... Yeah, some more storage, um, and then we have a very, very large walk-in closet. Yeah, there's plenty of storage in there. Tons of shelving, tons private of hang toilet space. area as well, which is always great. Can't forget the toilet. No one needs to do their business in public. 
And then again, one of my personal favorite features, master closet straight to the laundry room. Very convenient for doing your laundry. Love that there's a sink in here, especially if you've got kids or dogs or things that you have to rinse a little more thoroughly. For sure. Um, always great to have, but a lot of great cabinetry space in here. Yeah, you really don't see this much cabinetry very often. Mm -hmm. And laundry. counter space. And counter space. Yeah, that's awesome. So this kind of brings you right back out to what would be the mudroom, kind of connecting to the, there's a three car garage, but it's two in one in this yeah. floor plan. So this would be where the two car is. And then you've got the mudroom area. Now we're kind of back towards the entrance where you've got living common areas back that way. And then we're back here at our front door. Got a great uh, study area. Um, there are options with this builder to where you can enclose the space, throw up some French doors. Um, so that way it's a true dedicated office suite, which is really nice. Yeah, I think it's worth noting. I think what the, the builder rep has said, there's about $200,000 in upgrades to this house yeah. from the base price. Yeah, which we're gonna, two, two to 300. Two to 300,000. So we're gonna get to that price that it's actually at here in a little bit. But sure. just for some context for you out there that are wondering how much you'd have to put into this house extra above the base price, Correct. that's where we're at. This is where you'd get to your uh, third car garage. You can poke in here if you'd like to see. Honestly, for a one car, still a really good size. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my, my favorite thing that people do with these little single stall garages is convert it into a gym. Like mm. when, when they just make it a dedicated yeah. gym, when you have that luxury, it's pretty cool. You could fit a car and a golf cart in there. There you go. If you wanted to kind of mosey around the neighborhood. Yep. All right, we've got our full guest suite here. Very private, very tucked away from everything else. It's got its own ensuite, bath, and walk in closet. All right, you want to go check out upstairs? Let's do it. This, uh, this upstairs has a pretty awesome entertaining area. So if you love to host, especially parties, got the Super Bowl coming up. Yeah. So this would be the perfect spot yes, to have your Super Bowl hosting party. So you've got kind of a game room, media room combo um, in this layout. So where, as the way it's set up now, they've kind of blended the spaces. Mm -hmm. I bet you probably have some options to throw doors on here if you mm -hmm. wanted to. To enclose the space a little bit more but love that there's like a private little bar area back here yeah it's a perfect setup for like what you said if you were gonna have like a super bowl party it's nice to have it open yeah but if you're watching a movie and you have yeah. noisy kids out here exactly you can have the adults setup. you can have the kids right exactly where you just send the kids outside yeah exactly <laughs> i was really hoping that there was going to be an actual like uh shuffleboard on here but bummer. maybe next time you win some you lose some yes you do all right, we've got a few more areas to show you. And we've got another bedroom, so it'd be bedroom three. Good size room, has its own walk-in closet and ensuite bath as well. We've got a little study nook, separate from the kind of the game room, all of that playroom here. It's where you get done to business. Heck really yeah. focus, get your homework done. <laughs> this would be our fourth bathroom, right off of our fourth bedroom. Another good sized room, good sized closet as well. Go wrap up downstairs. Yeah, let's go chat about price. Let's chat about the almighty dollar. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are here at the Brantley Dries Custom Home. We have a base price here, $940,000. Again, we've got probably two to $300,000 worth of upgrades in this home. And so you're looking somewhere between a 1.2, $1 $1.3 million for 
this incredible house. But if you really think about what you're getting, I mean, that's kind of a bargain, all things considered. If you were to pick this house up, put it in other markets, potentially other areas within DFW, it would probably be more than $2 million. Right. I mean, all things considered. Yeah, and you have to remember that 1.2, like that's a ton of different upgrades. That's all the design features that you've seen in here that are incredible. Yep. Some options as far as structural, you see the landscaping out there. Yep. Tons of things that have been 100%. used to get to that 1.2. If you wanted to get in at a lower price, oh, yeah, and absolutely. do a lot of this stuff yourself, you could. But. Absolutely. All right, and this is why we think you should reach out to us. Because at the end of the day, trying to get all of this information from a lot of different builders, a lot of different communities, takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort. And this is what we do. This is what we do every single day for our clients. And so at the end of the day, we wanna make your transition, whether you're already in Dallas-Fort Worth or you're looking to move to Dallas-Fort Worth, we wanna make that transition seamless and we wanna give you your time back. And ultimately, like I said, this is what we do every day. And so we have great working relationships with a lot of these builders. And like if, for instance, like you love trees and you love this house in particular, but maybe Argyle isn't the fit for you. Maybe you wanna be in Prosper, McKinney, Salina, somewhere else, maybe further east towards Dallas. We will be more than happy to find an option that whether it's Drees or a very comparable builder um, that we can that we can help you with. So, all right, one last thing. So one thing we wanted to share with you from talking with Blake, the sales rep here, we asked him, who are the people who are primarily buying in here? And believe it or not, a lot of them are repeat buyers in this very community. This community has been around for over 10 years now. And so you have people that bought here 10 years ago, they're raising their families, they want more space to spread out. A lot of them are coming right back because they love the community, they love where they're at between the coffee shop, all the amenities, which is hit on in another part of the video. Um, so that is really the first primary one is people that are coming back to the community. Yeah, you also he also said you get a lot of people that are moving from places like Frisco or some places mm. like that are closest, closer to Dallas because they're looking to get a little bit more space and they just get more bang for, more the, bang buck for the buck yeah. when they move out here. I mean, this, this home in Frisco is well over, I mean, one and a half million dollars, yeah, if not at more. Least. Yeah, you're definitely uh, so. saving at least a couple hundred thousand dollars yep. by being over this way. All right, very important. Make sure to drop your favorite house below in the comments because we want to know what kind of house that you like so we can go shoot more videos of that in the future. Which one do you like seeing the footage of? Which one do you think is realistically a good option for you and your family down the road if you were to make the trip to the DFW Metro? And remember, if you are looking to make that move to the DFW Metro and you want to work with some of the best agents around, then definitely reach out to me and my team because we are the best at this. We love to sit down with you, figure out where exactly is the best fit for you in the DFW Metro, give you all the options for new construction, resale, and get you a really good solid idea at what you can afford here in the DFW Metro. So shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email anytime. Seriously, we are here to help you make the move to the DFW Metro. Until next time, I will see you later.